Welcome to another episode of GitHub Copilot. Today we are looking at how to build our first extension, how to configure the extension and invoke it from our Copilot chat interface. Copilot extensions currently available as public beta for all the Copilot users. There are two kinds of extensions. The first one is available in the GitHub marketplace. It's a public Copilot extensions contributed by partner ecosystem. There are a bunch of Copilot extensions available in the marketplace. You can explore that. The second option is creating a private Copilot extension. You can generate your own Copilot extension for the enterprise and deploy in your infrastructure itself. So we are targeting on private Copilot extension development using various technologies. So let us move to the Copilot extension development area, starting with our GitHub marketplace. We have the Copilot section, which defines the currently available extensions from various partners. You can select whichever extension you feel appropriate for you and go through the details, prerequisite and the installation requirements at the end you have the installation button and you can search for whichever the folder or the org you want to install select that particular organization and install for that org some of the extensions are free so you can go ahead and explore them after reading through the descriptions the extensions supported in github marketplace are in the form of a github application so all the authentication, encryption of data, everything is handled by GitHub itself. So let us move to development of a private extension. We have a Copilot extensions repository. It's publicly available with a bunch of sample extensions and the SDK available here. Right now we have only JavaScript SDK, which is in preview format. You can use this for any extension development using JavaScript. Saying that, there is no restriction that you need to use only JavaScript. You can use any technology for developing Copilot extension. We will explore some of the other technologies in later posts. Right now, I'm going to use this JavaScript SDK for our first Hello World extension. So the preview SDK provided a bunch of sample request response and the code snippets here. You can go through that and explore further on the preview of the SDK and contribute your feedback back to the team as well. So let us start with a empty repository. Here I am going to use code spaces for development. You can use either the Visual Studio or VS Code, any of the technology or the IDs you are using for code development. Right now, I'm going ahead with the code space for quickly span my development environment. So it's a simple JavaScript extension that is our target, which will use our SDK. The SDK is uh, provided here. Right now, my solution contains only the readme file. Let me start with the uh, npm in it to add the package json i'm going with the default values everything is default the package json is added now i need the first file nothing but index.js let me go ahead and take the help of copilot for developing our first extension so I'm going ahead and install the Copilot in my code space. Our objective is to develop a Copilot extension with the help of Copilot itself. So we are going to use Copilot for our code development. The Copilot installation is done. Let me ask Copilot to bring the JS module. Add an ES module. I'm going for ES module based uh, JavaScript. Create server using HTTP 
and um, handle the get method. I need only get method timing, but remember copilot extension works on the post method. I will be going to modify the code later. So let me just take this code, imported the HTTP and it's created a server and in get it returned this hello world and else it's going to method not allowed kind of message. So the else portion I am just removing time being. I will be handling that later. And 3000 is the port it's going to work. Let us run this one in PM start. So I am missing the script in package JSON. Either I can take the help of Copilot to fix it or I know what exactly missing. One is the type I need to specify it as a module type. And also I need to specify the start that is not index.js. These two are required for starting the NPM server. The server is started at port 3000. Let me open that one. It's connecting to the forwarded port and uh, return the, as you can see it's written hello world. The get method is working fine. Let us go ahead and install our SDK. npm install. I'm just pasting the extension name. So it's installed the SDK. SDK is available. Let us import the methods from SDK. From this is our SDK. Now we need only a text message so we need create text event and every copilot communication needs to complete by a done event so it's nothing but any communication to your chat end with a done event because you can write multiple chunks after that you need to dis inform the copilot chat that it's completed kind of thing so i am using the create text event to write something back and at the end I will be using the done event. This indicate that writing is completed. You can write multiple chunks as well. For example, I have two chunks. The first one is hello world from code spaces. This is my first copilot extension. So these are the two messages I am going to write back to our chat without handling any input. I haven't processed the request. If you need to extract some information from request and respond back, we'll explore that later point. Right now, it's a simple hello from your extension. So our focus is more of uh, how to configure this extension. Again, I just run this one. It started. I can open in the browser the URL and hello world is coming. Now one change I need to make it is right now this URL is private. I need to make it as public for testing purpose. If you want to configure your URL with the copilot extension, obviously it needs to be accessible from GitHub. It's an app configuration. If you are behind a firewall and uh, some proxy settings, take appropriate steps to enable the GitHub app registration. So this URL right now, I just made it as public. I will be going to use this URL as part of my Copilot extension configuration. Now the URL is ready. The next step is going to your settings as a GitHub user go to your settings and there is a developer settings section under that github apps new github app it will ask for your password pass it out now start registering this is our first copilot extension i will say hello cp or copilot extension CE. If I have some write up, I can specify that this will be the appearing in your um, 
details hello from copilot first extension this is my writer and i don't have a home url for my specific extension so i am just giving github.com similarly i don't have any url for callback callback url is mandatory once you configure the copilot extension you need to connect to this extension that is an authorization request once you authorize you need to specify where to redirect back this is mandatory i will show you where it is used and you can disable everything else in the permission angle under account permission copilot chat this the read only permission is triggered this is the only permission as of now we need but in case your extension is going to use any of the contents you may need to enable the repository content read access kind of thing it's all based on your extension scope you give repository and organization permission the mandatory permission is the copilot chat permission that's only read only permission and whether this app is installed for an organization or for this account i'm going with my own account and creating the copilot extension extension registration is completed now go to the copilot section and activate the app with the specific url i am using the code spaces url here in friends description first extension there is no pre authorization url save it so the extension configuration is done we have our first ex extension hello ce let us go to our repository and invoke the copilot chat now let us start typing you can observe that our extension is not listed here the first time you need to establish the connection and you need to type the entire name the hello cp sorry it is not hello cp there is no extension like that so it's taken directly to copilot so let me correct the name ce that is hello ce is our extension name we provided now it goes for connect you need to connect and authorize once you authorize this the link redirect link appearing when we configured the extension we provided a redirect or callback url that is what appearing here once you authorize it goes back to the callback url if your extension have a proper callback url you can take that one otherwise simply redirect here now let me just start a new chat session and try to invoke my custom extension hello ce hello you can see that hello world from code spaces this is my first copilot extension this is how it's appearing and in case you want to format this one you can do that using markdown so copilot extension use the github markdown syntax for all these things so let me bring it as a header format and start the extension i hope it's uh, giving the same url let us see and go and export the public made it as public this the new url i will just go and ensure that the url is same yeah it's the same url there's no changes so we can go back and say hello c hello you can see that it's a formatted it's a right now it's a header format which we passed here each and everything you can format based on your markdown syntax this is how you are going to configure a complete copilot extension and right now as it's completed 
the connectivity and all you will be able to get this in a new instant of your visual studio as well i just opened a new instant of visual studio and going to chart and let me increase the spawn and if i say at the rate you can see that hello c is appearing here and it will provide you the same message it works in the dot com and in your id the similar way and now once its connectivity and everything is established you will be able to invoke see you just press at the rate it will come out the whatever the uh, extensions available right now it's saying one agent per thread because i have this agent running let me just close that and go back and take this one so you can see that hello c is appearing here and you can provide some kind of message so that you it will bring the response back to you hope you are clear on copilot extension creation and configuration now go ahead and explore new extensions a bunch of extensions publicly available as part of the extensions repository itself and we shared one video before this that is a image insight i will be tagging one more extension developed in java as part of the description go ahead and explore and develop new extensions for your enterprise thank you